Hi, Caput Piso here. This is uh, teaching the uh, lesson for the cry psychotic. The fact is, there are as many gods are as the brain can create, and is the most devastating neurological disorder that has affected humankind. It might end up destroying us. When the brain is infected, uh, doesn't understand science and is stupid, then he believes in God and bullshit like that. Birth of an atheist. Ninth month of construction. Product of evolution. Another mutated, oh, evolved so. primate being born. I've been born. Experiencing my 63 years. Oh, I've been born in all positions. Real quick. Thank you. Okay, nice and little push. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now stop, now stop, now stop. Now stop, now stop. Now stop, now stop. 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 That. Birth of an atheist, people. Just like any other animal. Another primate. There it is. No belief. He, he wasn't born saying, Oh, Jesus, here I am. Oh, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Allah. I believe in anything. Nope. Zero. He's born without belief, people. Just like any other ape or primate, part of evolution, random chances begins the imprinting period. Okay, imprinting period. There it is. How he's getting his brain is becoming to learn a learner very, very fast, very fast. Imprinting period, but he's an. Atheist is born lacking belief. Now, if anybody can see any other animal being born, they all have the same thing. They all have the two, uh, four extremities, the head, the brain, uh, all composed of neurons and everything. DNA, like any other animal. And, and that's actually a fact. This is what we create God with. When it malfunctions, when you cannot tell fact from fiction, and also when you're extremely ignorant, then you accept all these retarded fantasies as true because you know you're ignorant of science. Fact is there are as many gods are as the brain can create and is the most devastating neurological disorder that has affected humankind. It might end up destroying us. We don't eradicate it. You'll end up killing people. Don't believe me? Take Ciprasidone. If you look at an ape, and you look at any primate, we are primates. And so where is God? You know, only deluded people, you know, when there's something is wrong with the brain, you start believing in this nonsense and accepting um, imaginary friends as if they were reality. If the latrine of some Jesus is found in Jerusalem, would you worship his cropolites? Something like this? Of course, this is from, from my God. Oh, I'm sorry, my dog. Can I screeter, full of bacteria and life, and we all have it inside of us. And Christ had it too. Look at that. Changing genes in the laboratory is one thing, but for evolution to happen, genes have to change by themselves in nature. It turns out that all animals, including us, have a way of making this happen. Whoa. To pass the instructions for life from one generation to the next, an animal has to copy its DNA. And whenever anything's copied, errors can occur. That's right, there's a mutation, the Christians. that are responsible for constantly replicating DNA do not do it with 100% precision. They're a little off. It's almost as if there's a built-in mechanism for change. Everything evolves. These random errors are the building blocks of new species. And you know this is composed of DNA. 
This tree has DNA. Everything has DNA on the whole planet. You know, we are composed of bacteria. They're our ancestors. They all have DNA. Even a cropolite of cheese will have DNA. And, uh, you know, when we die, guess what happened? We decompose. We're just like this. Just shit. And if you believe in God, you have ruined all your life because you're going to be eaten by bacteria. That's true. <laughs> so, people infected with crysticosis, hey, we're in the 21st century. Do yourself cure. Research in the last few years has thrown up a mystery. When biologists started decoding the DNA of plants and animals in the 1970s, they assumed that the genes of one animal would be very different from another. They were in for a shock. It turns out that when it comes to genes, we humans aren't that different from other species. Here you go, Christians. Around 96% of our DNA is the same as chimpanzees. Around 75% of our genes are the same as dogs. And we share around a third of our genes with daffodils. So if our DNA is so similar, why do Earth's creatures all look so different? Sorry, people infected with face psychosis. I know true hurts. <laughs> when you die, there's nothing else. <laughs> you better enjoy the only life you have. <laughs> Believing God is a psychosis. Evolve mutated primates that create God with our brains, as well as other delusions when our brains are either ignorant, psychotic, they're born retarded, and uh, you know, suffer from something like a schizophrenia or schizotypal or status epileptic or kind of disorders. We have DNA. DNA proves it. The concept of God or demons or supernatural cannot exist outside a brain that conceives it. Deal with it. Defenseless. There it is. Completely defenseless. And no evolved mutated primate. No God, no belief. That brain is lacking belief. It's infected in a, in a re religious uh, uh, psychosis infected family, then of course he stopped being fed with all this garbage uh, fairy tales. And uh, he grows up and he's educated. And if he still believes in these fairy tales and this garbage of God and nonsense, he is no different than a schizotypal, a schizophrenic uh, infected uh, individual, which uh, we hope uh, people are not like that, especially when they're educated. So if they're educated and you still believe in Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Jesus and Allah and uh, uh, the boogeyman, then uh, you belong in a mental institution. This is what happened with the Christians today, the educated Christians, uh, uh, especially the Pope and people in the Vatican. Uh, these people should be uh, committed. Yeah. Here's the face of an atheist. A, uh, a baby. No belief. Zero. Christianity. That's Christianity. This is what could have happened if it was born in a Christianity infected home. Christianity is actually a psychopathy. And, uh, you know, product of evolution, DNA, right in the brain, DNA, and uh, neurons, everything in there. We, do, we know that because of biology. And uh, with this uh, stupid, uh, uh, stupid design of believing God, the idiots, they think that, uh, you know, there's an imaginary friend's God that created everything. is complete nonsense. The reality of it all is we are evolved mutated primates that created God with our brains. That's a fact. Believing God is a psychosis that belongs in the past. And I can prove it with this. So, and on top of that, neurology too. So, I can crush any cry psychotic infected people that believe in God with the facts. Where if all mutated primates that create God deal with it, it's a fact. For your information, I'm a mentally healthy person, in other words, an atheist. And uh, I love knowledge. Don't forget, the more you know, the more difficult it is for others to lie. I'm the happiest guy in the world. Patch it your own.